Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy Up back with another Dokkan battle video. So after a super, super extended maintenance on JP, I think someone told me it was close to like 15 hours or something like that. And I believe the reason it was so long was because Apple refused to approve the new update. I think I could be wrong about that, but either way, the maintenance is now over and we finally have the first data download related to the five year anniversary, which is coming up very, very soon. So in today's video, I just wanna quickly tell you guys about all the things that were found in the game files after the data download so that everybody is fully up to date with the latest information, all right? So first things first, we see on the screen right now is of course the anniversary ticket. Pretty standard for the past couple of years, we've been getting these tickets for a special anniversary banner, but the new thing you guys might remember from the V-Jump leaks with this specific ticket is that apparently on the 55th summon, you're guaranteed a summonable LR, which means that in theory, if you keep up to date with you know, all the missions and all the logins and all that stuff, everybody should be getting a free summonable LR with these tickets, which is something that's completely brand new. I mean, LRs have been always available on these banners, but they've never been guaranteed. And I don't think I've personally ever pulled an LR from one of these tickets. So the fact they're a guaranteed one is pretty crazy. We don't know what the pool actually looks like. It could just be the OG LRs, but even if that's the case, it's still pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, tickets right there. Get excited for that, guys. And moving on to the next thing, by the way, huge shout out and thank you to I Seriously for uh, posting these images. And the next thing here is the equipment or skill orb. So here's the full list. I know I'm covering a few of them. I do apologize for that, but you guys can see most of them. And uh, it's basically what we knew about before. So these skill orbs are an extension of the hidden potential system. And for all units that are UR status or higher, you will be able to unlock up to three different, uh, I guess, equipment slots or skill orb slots. And uh, they do different things. So. There's different orbs for stats, of course, but also ones for hidden potential skills like uh, criticals, additionals, uh, super attack, uh, defense, extra attack, dodge, and so on and so forth. Basically, all the existing hidden potential skills, there will be skill orbs to further increase them for UR characters or higher. And there's actually a really, really good breakdown um, of how the system works. I think it's called Dokkan Battle Capture or something like that, and it is translated from Japanese, so the English is going to be a little bit rough. But basically it says, in Dokkan Battle, we summarize the new element Skill Ball or Skill Orb for the 5th anniversary. Information about Skill Balls, how to get them, and opening conditions are also posted, so check them in advance. Okay, so, about Skill Balls. A Skill Ball is a function that only characters of UR or higher can be used for each character as well as their potential by equipping skill balls, you can improve the status and raise the potential skill level. So basically stats, attack, HP, and defense, and also hidden potential skills like you know additional attack, dodge, all that stuff. Uh, there are three frames for equipping skill balls, copper frame, silver frame, and gold frame. Certain conditions can be met in order to open each slot. How to get skill balls. Skill balls can be attained at various events according to the information on the B-Jump, a training event with Whis will be held and available there. So that's currently the only um, event that we know of where we can get the skill balls, but of course in the future, we might get more events for different kinds of skill orbs, I guess. I'm not really sure. And uh, next up, we have the opening conditions of the frame. So there's the silver ball or copper frame release condition, which is that uh, it can be released by awakening a character to UR. So all UR characters will have that silver frame, or sorry, that uh, copper frame or copper slot open immediately. And the second one is the silver frame. And the silver frame or silver skill ball can be released by setting each character's special move level or super attack level to level 10. And then for the gold frame, and this one was a little bit controversial when the details first came out because people thought it was kind of like a pay to play thing. And I kind of get it. So for the gold frame, it can be released by opening the second potential route of each character. So basically you have to have at least two dupes in the character 
to have this final slot open? Is it a way for them to get people to summon more? To try to get the two dupes for new characters and get that final slot open? Yes, for sure. But at the same time, um, of course, all free to play characters, it's, it's going to be easy to get that final slot. And it also does make pulling dupes of summonable characters a little bit more exciting now, right? And uh, as far as the effects go, he says, a skill ball is an extension of the potential system and each skill ball increases HP, attack, and defense. There are also skill balls with potential skills such as continuous attack and criti criticality. So basically critical hits and uh, additional attacks. Skill ball attributes and rarities. A skill ball has the concept of attributes and rarity. The higher the rarity, the higher the effect. Details about the attributes are unknown. So I'm assuming that uh, what that means is that basically not all skill balls are are created equal so certain skill balls might drop with higher stat boosts versus other ones that maybe have lower rolls and are not as good that's what i'm assuming it means but maybe they're just referring to the silver bronze and gold i'm not really sure about that right now either the skill ball with the same attribute as the skill ball can only be worn or the effect is higher if the character and skill ball have the same attribute oh interesting so there might be specific skill balls for specific types of characters. Right now, we're still not 100% you know, up to date with all the information, all the details. So once we get closer to the actual release of this system, the release of the uh, anniversary, we'll know more about that. So I'll keep you guys posted about the full details in a future video. Uh, can't, it, can't wear it freely. If you do so, there will be a message in the game saying skill balls already installed with, will be overwritten. So it seems that skill balls that have been installed cannot be removed. Oh, I see. Basically, you can only um, use the skill balls once. So once you attach them to a character, if you want to remove them, then that existing skill ball will get deleted. So it's like a one-time use kind of thing. Last but not least, it is mentioned at the beginning. It, it is a summary of the information that can be confirmed in the data at the present time, and the specifications may change when Dokkan Battle 5th Anniversary is implemented. Please see for reference only. So yeah, just a quick disclaimer. This is not the final information, the final details for the skill orbs or skill balls, and the system could be different from what we think it is once it officially comes out. Okay, so moving back to iSeriously's page, as you guys can see, we got the bronze, the silver, and the gold skill balls with different um, you know, attributes or different skills that they boost. And it seems like there are actually gonna be like dual skill balls, I guess, with uh, like double boosts for different kinds of skills, right? So like for this one, for example, it looks like it's crit and defense. And this one is additional and super attack boost and uh, so on and so forth. And this one seems to be the best one because it's both crit and additional. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how the system works once it fully is released and we have all the information but for now i'm definitely interested and uh, i'm excited definitely one of the features i'm very most excited for uh, for this anniversary and next up we have some of these stickers and currently it looks like there's only special stickers for these extreme z awakenable free to play characters I can, as you can see there's the spirit bomb or universal spirit bomb gt goku there's a super saiyan blue vegeta um, Fizz, Second Form Frieza, and so on and so forth. They're all free-to-play characters with Extreme Z Awakenings. But I think, I think that this first one right here is a universal one, and I sincerely hope that it's the one that allows us to remove the diamond background from any card we want. So, uh, of course, these are special ones, these ones right here. All special ones for those specific cards, specific characters. But I think this one is the universal one that uh, will allow us to just turn off that diamond background that nobody likes anyways. So that's all I know about, you know, that's all I know about it right now. I don't know what the effects will look like for these cards specifically, but uh, hopefully they look dope, you know? So those are the stickers right there. And finally, we have the countdown screens leading up to the five year anniversary, something we've had for a couple years now. And the first one is a base form Goku for seven days left. Next one is a base form Vegeta. And then we have Super Saiyan Vegeta, we have Super Saiyan Goku, uh, oh, and then Super Saiyan God Goku for three days left, Super Saiyan God Vegeta for two days left, and last but not least, for the final day, we have the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku, which of course makes sense because um, at this point I think it's confirmed that the Dual Dual Confest will be a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, or sorry, no, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, so... 
there you go guys i think that is all the information we currently have or that we got from the data download a lot of more um a few more details at least for the skill orbs a full breakdown or a full list of them is right here and we also got the ticket in the game files now and uh, also the stickers that will be released um, when the new sticker system comes out we got the countdown screens and also oh of course a new logo for the five year anniversary i believe it's a super same blue goku anyways <laughs> that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys are hyped for the countdown to begin and then eventually the actual five year anniversary a week after um once more details come out as always i will keep you guys posted in in a future video but for now that's all i can say get hyped guys um hope you enjoyed the video as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.